So if this doesn't stop the backing, I'm going to allow him to back and I'll build that into the neck. And if it does stop the backing, great. But if it doesn't, we'll shift it to stop the backing. As soon as he stops, you stop. Because he's stopping in a good way where he's more or less faced up. And you, you might see this increase some, but you may not. So you can increase it. But you also begin to see that area becoming a sweet spot. There's your yield, that's a good move. Hmm. And he knows he's supposed to face up and not turn his butt. This is me exploring how he feels about noise and movement will create this to the comfort area. Anna? Yeah. Are you concerned at all that he he's really more it seems like he likes uh, having uh, presenting his butt to you? He's not presenting his butt. Not once yet. Okay. You'll see it when he does. Okay. It would be a very deliberate that's a turn there's a presenting the butt. If he doesn't, the well manifested, if he stops <laughs> on the way through, he's presenting the butt. If he's sort of moving sideways, he's not. If he continues turning, he's not. If he stops there, absolutely he is. Yeah. And then you shift that behavior. So let's see if we remove it. Let's see that. See, the first off, he'd just back up out of it because he didn't want to do that. And all that's fine, but he's learned to back up. That's the thing. He's learned that if he just gently backs and sidesteps, he moves through, he can't do much with that. So we change it. Okay, so we got a nice yield, of course there's a difference. My energy hasn't changed, my outline has. It's a good question. And the question but was, as I'm here, I'd already noticed it. So when I did this action, I'll tell you exactly what I did. So when I did this action, yeah. I saw I didn't need to do the other. So that really gave me that I don't need to do that. I don't really need it. He's, he's just telling you where he's been touched, and 
you're going to expand on this piece. So you could rub this more, could do that. And get him really comfy and really enjoying this. And we find here too. You could, I don't know if you can do that. Generally speaking, they, they will often strike just there. That's pushing the envelope. But because he likes his nose, I'm going to say I want to bite it. Because he likes his nose it probably went in our favour and then you create that as a lesson and an opportunity to say no butt turning but then you get a yield off the check so that's your next piece is to incorporate that into so if I do touch them with my stick at the head I might as well put it back on him so I'll stop on the back so a bit let's see if we can get him again okay. so this would be There's your back, versus you might put this as a stop. And now you've got another cue in on him. But you would say, here's a stop. So lastly, the other cool thing is if you up it a bit where I'm now tapping him, the rub won't be so bad because the tap was more. So then when you go back, it's got easier. So he, he'll he come through real quick. So a lot of the stuff that you saw with Pippa, you won't need to do with him. See this now, we're getting ready for picking up feet. This is before I'll show you this too. Release. That's the first step of picking up feet. So scrap everything else. We can't touch a horse, but we teach him that. And that's the opportunity is to come in here and go, all right, I can pet you here, basically. And gradually, proximity will get better. I can pet you here. I'd love for you to yield. Well done. So by the time you get to halt on your picking up feet will be way easier than anybody else's. So you've got to see everything is an opportunity to build on it to come back. So that's great. Can I pet you here? Great. What about down there? Can I touch you there? There you go. Thank you. 